Hello world, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install Portainer on a Synology NAS. So I'm using the uh, Synology DS720 Plus, amazing bit of kit, really recommend you look into that. Um, so Portainer is a universal container management tool that will help you to uh, deploy and manage your container based applications. And you'll be able to do it without needing to know how to write any Kubernetes specific code. It's really, really simple to use. It's a web interface, uh, really, really nice tool. So normally you'll need to know how to set up SSH and SSH into your NAS and do it that way. But there's a really uh, easy, super quick way of doing it. And I'm gonna show you that today. So you won't need to do any SSHing at all. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need to know how to open Docker and remember that's uh, in your menu and you can just click Docker there. The first thing, however, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the file station and inside the Docker folder, we're going to create a new folder and we're going to all lowercase, we're going to call it Portainer and we're just going to click OK. We can then close that down and we're going to go to Control Panel, we're going to go to Task Scheduler I'm going to create a scheduled task using a user defined script. We need the task a name and we're just going to call it install portainer. Uncheck the root user, click um, send run details by email and put an email address in. Okay, and then we're going to paste in our user defined script. Now the script you'll find in the description, I'll put that in the descriptions for you. And that just goes into the uh, run command box. So you'll see where it says run user defined script. And you're just going to paste that into there. Okay, remember that is in the description below. So you will need to, to grab that before you continue and go any further. So that gets pasted in. Okay, and then you can click OK. There is actually one more thing we need to do with that. So we're just going to click on it and go to edit. And we need to go to schedule and make sure we click run on um, the following date. Just leave any date in there and just click OK. It just needs to be scheduled to work. Okay, and then what we can do is we can actually get this to, to run and install. So we just click on it. And then we can go up to the run button. We'll hit the run button and that will uh, basically do what we want it to do. It'll install uh, Portainer. It'll ask if you're sure, click yes, and that's it done. Okay, so we now navigate to our NAS, which uh, is 192.168.1.143 for me, and then colon, and you want port 9000. This will give you portainer.io, it's the sort of user interface, so you want to choose a username, um, you want to pick a password, try and make it reasonably strong, and um, once you've done that it will log you in, create the user and it will bring you to the, uh, the interface. Make sure you untick that allow collection at the bottom and then select docker um, as the container manager and then just click connect at the bottom and that's uh, that will create the connection between docker and portainer and then once that's done um, we need to set up our endpoints okay so just click on endpoints on the uh, left hand side and then what you want to do is just click local and you should see docker var run docker socket and then add endpoints okay See, I'm just literally checking to make sure everything's right. The public IP address, you want to put in your um, NAS IP. So 192.168.1.143 for me, yours might be different. And then update the endpoint and that will create um, the connection which allows you to view all of your, uh, you should be able to view all of your containers. Um, from this point forward. So then what you'll probably have to do is do a, uh, a refresh and you can see there once we refresh I can see that I've got my 
two containers in there and if I click that you can see what's going on I've got two images downloaded I've got two containers I've got Portana and my book Sonic Air server dates created and this is this is a great thing about Portana is you can actually go in and you can create um, you can create some other images and containers uh, without actually having to, to do a lot of stuff so check out the stuff down the left hand side uh, comment below if you want me to go over anything specific if there's something specific you'd like me to cover not a problem at all just just drop me a message so as I know uh, what it is you want um, if there's a container you're trying to set up you're having difficulty with or, or anything like that like subscribe and share